I'm going to show you how to take your branded content, such as your blog, and create short form scripts and images using automation and AI. And short form obviously means reels, TikTok, shorts for YouTube. So basically teaser content for your long form content or your branded content, such as the blog. And for this smart automation, the tools you'll need first is Airtable. Similarly, you could use NoGoDB if you'd like, and both are kind of building databases like a spreadsheet, as you can see, they're sort of visual table-like interfaces for the data that you're working with. And second is OpenAI. That's sort of the, the primary large language model I like to use, and then, for the image generation, we will be using Leonardo.ai, which I found to be the best option. I know there's, you know, Midjourney, et cetera, Dolly, but I've, I've tested out a lot of different image generators and I've really honed in on Leonardo.ai as sort of the best option. They have just really do have a lot of different image capabilities. Also the full access to the image generator via API, pretty top notch for Leonardo. All right, so those are the tools we'll be using. I've already created a base where, you know, you can see here, so they, it's called a content manager. I've got a lot of different things in here for content creation, but today we'll focus on the brand guidelines, which I, again, I've already built those out in this Airtable base. And I have a test blog post that I'll be pulling in and we'll be also using the assets tables to upload those images that are generated. Okay, so here we go. Let's jump into this. So here we have the overall workflow for this to the short form script and the images. So if you guys have seen some of my other workflows, you can see how this is how I like to structure my workflows. First of all, let me just point out that, you know, the link to this workflow template is available in the descriptions as well as this intro about myself on the workflow. So this is here as well as the link to my other workflow templates. And then, you know, if you're watching this on YouTube, you, you're already on that page, so no worries there. All right, so let's get started. No need to go spend too much time on the trigger as this is just going to be manually initiated, right? Then we're going to go ahead and uh, retrieve our brand guidelines from the Airtable base. And so here in this table of brand guidelines, we're just going to pull that in and set those guidelines. And as you can see here, um, oops, what I've done is I've used the pin and if you guys aren't familiar with how this works in N8M, when you pin data in a node, it basically sets that as a sort of a permanent item. So it doesn't have to go and retrieve that information every single time. So it's useful for more sort of static content that you don't have to pull every single time. So as you can imagine, I'm not going to pull this brand guidelines and hit Airtable, et cetera, et cetera, every single time I run this execution. If I had some changes to the brand guidelines, then I'd unpin it and then reinitiate it and then pin it again. So I don't have to keep pulling that out. All right. so. Get the guidelines, set the guidelines. Boom, done there. Then we're going to, I, I, I built this in a way where I'm going to retrieve the blog posts that are in this table here, the blog post table. It, I'm going to retrieve it and I'm going to set a keyword filter. And you can see here, I have filtered it for AI automation. So, you know, as you're, table of blog posts increases you don't want to you know create short form content for every single one you may want to filter it by keyword or maybe filter it by title etc i'm going to then remove any duplicates split out the keywords and then get the content for those keywords from that air base or air table base okay so Keyword first and then the content. You can flip this around as you're playing around with 
the way this works, but then this version, that's how I've created it. All right. So get the keywords, filter it out, split out the content. And here I'm just limiting it to one so that I can show you guys how this actually works. And so here is our AI component. Okay. So prefer short form video content. What does this do as so, well? One, we're going to pull in the brand guidelines from the previous node. Here, let me open this up so it's a little bit easier. Then we're going to create a four scene script for the short form video. You've given the title, you've given the content from that blog post, and I've instructed this to be less than 30 seconds in length. You guys can change that as you're playing around with this workflow. I've created, I have asked it to create image prompts for the thumbnail as well as the four scenes in the video. And that's what happens there. Pretty straightforward, nothing too crazy here. You know, the output format is scene one through four, script number, image prompt number, thumbnail prompt. Okay. So after that, what happens is, I'm going to split out the thumbnail prompt and the scene prompts separately and process those images differently. So you can see here, step number four is generate the thumbnail image. I get the prompt from the AI output. Then I run it through the Leonardo prompt improvement API endpoint. So Leo has its own prompt improver. So I run it through there then generate the images. Right now, this is using the Phoenix 1.0 model. You guys can play around with the different models that are available. I wait the 30 seconds so that the image is fully created, get the image ID, and then upload that information back into Airtable. And so you can see guys here, this is what this is. So, you know, the, the scene information and then the link to the image, okay? So that's what that's doing. And I'm repeating that process for the various scenes. And you can see here, the scenes are split out into the four scenes and it's gonna loop this process of creating the scene imagery the four times for each scene. So very similar to the thumbnail process. Right now, you know, I do have the, <laughs> this is kind of a, a preview of how we're gonna get to v3 of this script to image generator where i'm actually going to create the videos but we'll save that for the next video for now we're just going to focus on the image creation and uploading that asset information back into Airtable. so right now both of these image generators are only going to create one image per image prompt so thumbnail one scene one image one so you only end up with five assets but you can go into each of these nodes here inside this red box and if you wanted to you could change it there we go sorry that's the wrong oh i'm in the improved one sorry guys so here in this box not in the red box if you change this parameter here where it says number of images if you change that to four then you're going to just have a lot more options for images and maybe that's what you know it'll give you more options for those so right now also i've set this to ultra true which means you're going to get higher resolution images if you want to use less tokens for the api tokens with leonardo.ai set that to false and it'll just give you base level medium resolution image but I, I i've defaulted to the higher resolution images okay so this is the entire workflow for now you have you set your brand guidelines and we make sure we stay on brand with your content and then um you know this will process the the script as well as the images and i'll just show you real quick you know here we have let me expand this view so here we have the the scene and the text for that scene or the script and then the image for that as well and you can see here i do have a higher resolution image because i use the ultra option when i hit that leonardo.ai api again 
take a look at the links in this box where I have some information about myself. And if you don't know, my name's Alex. <laughs> if you haven't figured that out by now. And I do create a lot of these workflows and share them out so that people can start learning and figuring out how to add automation, smart automation into their lives, both personally and professionally. All right. Let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.